So excited to be chatting with you here in Canada. We have been loving my boy. Well, thank you guys up in Canada. I wish I could come see you guys, but maybe hopefully one of these days soon. We'll see. Hopefully. I know we got a chance to see you with a virtual show that you had done with Jason Aldean earlier this summer. And man, you put on a fantastic show. Well, thank you very much. It was, uh, that was a lot of fun. A really fun way to knock the, uh, knock the rust off of a year and a half. So, uh, it was, it was, uh, I remember walking out there and like before 2020, I felt so comfortable on stage. And then we got to the Aldine shows the first night and I walked out on stage and I, I had that same nervous feeling the first time I, you know, walked out on stage opening for Toby Keith, you know, which was the first big artist that I ever opened for. And seeing that many people and just being like, oh, Lord, they're all looking at me. That's so cool. And to get a chance to hear them to sing live to your music, too, with like my boy and stuff. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when you come up here to Canada, because everybody, like I said, is loving this song here. We've had it on our Kicks Brooks American Country countdown and everything. And I heard they're actually going out on the road with Brooks and Dunn. Yes, yes, I am. I'm so excited about that. We uh, I mean, I feel like that's the equivalent of like being a rock and roll artist and getting a phone call saying hey uh would you like to go out on tour with the rolling stones this fall you know it, it seems like uh that's the same that's the same phone call in the country world right um hillbilly deluxe baby all the way i can't wait that's awesome and of course too like we we're talking earlier here your song my boy has just been blowing up all over the music scene you scroll through tiktok you're seeing people using your song and videos and everything how has it been to see your the response for this single for you it's been wild. I mean, we wrote this song five and a half years ago, and two years after we wrote it, it blows up on Facebook, and then Facebook takes it down for whatever reason, and we thought, you know, we were like, well, there goes our 15 minutes of fame, but then I ended up getting a record deal out of that, and uh, and now, you know, we, we get the record deal. We go record this stuff, and, and I say we – uh, to in meaning my my co-writers my team uh but we, we record this stuff and a week before our ad date to radio boom it blows up on tiktok and it's just like the support of, of the listeners you know has just been incredible throughout the entire time and uh i, I don't know i'm just i'm blessed i appreciate all of it well, and it's a song that is just so relatable to so many people that have uh, bonus children as well that are just loving this. And we love it so much, too, that you've also even come out with a My Girl version of it. Yeah, we. Uh, I knew that if the song popped off that people were going to be able to relate, but that one word was going to be wrong. So we got, we got together uh, February, the the year before we released the song, we got together in February of that year and, and, you know, just changed pronouns around a little bit and did some stuff with it to, uh, to make it fit those families as well. Definitely. I know already here in Canada, I've heard so many people and like my friends and stuff that have been using them, your songs, both the versions in their weddings and stuff too. So like I said, people are just loving all of your music out here. Well, thank you so much. I'm uh I feel uh, blessed beyond measure. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. It's uh, it's been pretty crazy to to see how many people have been touched by the song and and uh, how many different ways people have been able to relate to it. And you know, I like I said, I that song is uh, it felt more like a gift than anything we uh, and and it took me four years to write another song that anybody was excited about so i can't take much credit for it you know we'll just give it all to the man upstairs definitely is that the longest it's ever taken you to write a song four years or have you had songs that have taken you longer than that to write no i mean uh we I, i've never took four years to write a song i don't think but i have we just finished a song uh I finished a song with a couple friends a few weeks ago. We've been working on for a little over two years. It's called Rocket Science. Ironically, it was a hard one. 
Uh, but it'll it'll be on the record when the record comes out, and it's uh, one of my favorite lyrical pieces that uh, that I've ever been a part of. So I like to spend time with some of them. Uh, some of them just fall in your lap, like my boy. When we wrote that song, it was uh, four six hours, and uh, that song kind of just came to us. So. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm sure you're going to be getting a lot more inspiration with your new addition to your family, your adorable baby girl. Congratulations to you and your wife. Yeah, I'm so pumped. I've, I've wanted to be a girl dad for a long time and she's here and she's beautiful and she's healthy. And, um, you know, I watch the wife like go through the, the process of giving birth and then breastfeeding and it's just it's all been such an amazing thing to witness and uh i actually got to deliver my baby like the the doctor kind of pulled his chair up behind me and and showed me what to do and and told me what to do and i would you know i got to be the first hands that ever touched my daughter and that was that was a really special moment Oh, that is so cool. And you know what? Daughters, I feel like they always have their dads wrapped around their fingers, especially when they're like the first boards. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, that is the case for sure. <laughs> She's, uh, every morning when we wake up, we like to get her out of her bed and just lay her in the bed with us. And, and I'll just sit there and talk to her and I call her my little biscuit. I don't know why, but the first time that, uh, that I let her in the bed with me in the morning and was talking to her. I called her Biscuit. And now it's kind of stuck. So maybe that's going to be her nickname. We'll see. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Well, Elvie, we won't keep you too much longer here. Is there anything that you want to oh, say to your up. fans here in Canada? Oh, there you are. Obviously, just a huge thank you to you guys, uh, all your listeners, all you guys at, at radio and, and every everything in Canada that, that's showing us love. Uh, I've never been up there. I can't wait to come up there and, and meet you folks. And, uh, you know, I've got some stuff coming down the pipeline we've been working really hard on. And I just want people to know that all this music, it's going to sound very diverse from song to song, but it but it all comes from a very honest place. And uh, I try to be as honest as I possibly can within my songs. But Willie Nelson always said, never let the truth get in the way of a good lyric. And they're all also other songwriters involved in these songs and I, I try to uh, pepper in all of our stories where they fit with this stuff so well we cannot wait for it i know here in canada we're going to be sing along to all these songs when you get a chance to come up here and perform for us my blood ain't got my name but if he did i'd feel the same i wasn't awesome thank you guys so much i appreciate steps, you but i ain't missed.